Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Stormcat back with another video today. This is the For Honor 1.18 patch notes. If you are interested in seeing what has changed January 18th of this year in For Honor, stay tuned. Again, guys, there is a lot here, so I'm going to run through it quickly and then give you guys a link so you can see it in more detail. Alright guys, I'm not going to go over the bug fixes only because they are very small details and you probably wouldn't even notice them unless you play For Honor religiously. Alright guys, so they have fixed all bugs for Peacekeeper, Conqueror, Lawbringer, Warlord, Valkyrie, Shigoki, Arachi, Shinobi, Centurion, Gladiator, Highlander, Shaman, Aramusha, and that's it. So the bugs for those characters that were currently present are now fixed. Next, guys, we have maps. Viking Village. They fixed an issue that caused the barrel trap to not execute the Shaman and the Aramusha. Alright, for tribute improvement, they fixed an issue that caused friendly fire to make players drop the flag. Fixed an issue that caused players to be uninterruptible. Fixed an issue that allowed the players to interact with the offering after placing it in the shrine. Added a missing sound effect during the win confirm timer. Fixed an issue that caused the interaction sound effect to continue playing after being interrupted. For the dual tournament, fixed issue that caused some user interface and audio to persist until face off screen. Fixed an issue caused the tournament matchmaking user interface to disappear upon receiving an error. Fixed an issue that caused ranked update interface to be displayed after the match ends in a tie. They also Fix an issue that caused the next map interface to sometimes remain displayed at the end of the tournament. They call fix an issue that caused a quit penalty to trigger when leaving a tournament after being eliminated. Uh, fix an issue that caused some elements of the tournament lobby to remain displayed after abandoning a tournament. And then they fix an issue that displayed the wrong player count while matchmaking. So, for Faction War, they made four different improvements. No bug fixes here. Um, at the end of the match on the reward screen, we added an interface to display how players earned their troops. Uh, added a weather icon above the territory's icon and name. Added an... Oh, they made a spelling error here. Added a message for isolated territory and capital territory to clarify that territories are not connected to a capital while being turned over to another faction once the current battle is over and added an icon to emphasize the selected player's faction. Now, to be honest with you guys, a lot of you aren't going to understand any of the words I'm saying because this is for honor. It is a very complicated game. Um, but those were all the console fixes and improvements. If you would like to read them in more detail, I will have the link down below. There are also PC fixes and improvements that will be in that link as well if you guys would like to click that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this update for For Honor. It was 1.18. came out two days ago. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave in the comments any games that you would like me to play whether it's for honor fortnite rocket league anything like that and i will take all of your um opinions into consideration i won't let anyone be left behind i will make sure that anything you guys want to see will be done eventually so leave that in the comments and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time